What's up, YouTube? Knife Crazy here. I got a hogue for you today. I hadn't had very many hogues on my channel before, but this one kind of piqued my interest and wasn't a very expensive knife. And so I picked it up from USA Made Blade, as you can see here, this patch from them guys. Uh, if you don't know about USA Made Blade, go to usamadeblade.com. Check out all the stuff they got. They sell this exact knife and it's in stock right now at the time of this video, of course. All right, so let's dig in. In the box, here's your box. There's your information all right there, okay? It's a manual folder, 20 CV, three and a quarter blade. It's a drop point, uh, clip point blade. It's tumbled, you know. Uh, it's got G10 handles. It's blue lava, they call it, but it's like layered uh, blue-black G10. I'll show that up in a second. Anyway, that's info. There's your box. Comes with a little pouch, okay? Simple little pouch. Nice little extra. It's nice to get uh, little extra things in your box sometimes, you know. We we know we all love that. So let's dig in this guy. All right, as you said here, you got this textured, uh, layered, I guess you would say, milled out. That's what's making all that cross hatch looking stuff. But this is a layered G10, as you can see from the side. Blue, black, blue, black, blue, black, all the way down. All right. So and then when they start etching into it like that and doing the mill work, it kind of makes it look camo looking but that blue black kind of pops. And of course, with the black hardware and all, looks good. This side, this is a stainless steel deep carry clip. So um, it kind of blends with the blade a little bit if you like that sort of thing. Probably a black one would have looked better with the hardware and the black uh, standoffs and everything like that. Hmm, I don't know, but uh, black does scratch. So that'd be another thing to worry about later. So there's it's no kind of negative hit on it or nothing like that. Let's open it up. Take a look at this clip point blade. A little bit of uh, billboarding right there. Made in the USA, of course. 20 CB. Very smooth, okay? You can spidey flick it. You can thumb flick it. And you can just flick it, you know. Like the traditional, I call it, uh, you know, like bench made access lock traditional. You know, you can just sit there and pull back on the able lock. That's what uh, Hope calls it, able lock. Let's talk about the able lock, okay? The thumb stud and the lock has that same pattern on it, okay? It is very textured, I guess you would say. It has very good traction. I mean, there is no slipping. I mean, it it's very um, aggressive, I guess you would say, um, which is a good thing. When you can pull back, you got slippery fingers, whatever, it grabs and the thumb stud, they ain't no mistaking it, you own it. I mean, it just, no big deal, you know. Just kind of want to throw that out there. Pivot kind of still has that same, you know, sharp kind of texturing on it, but it don't matter. You're not messing with the pivot to open it. All right, I said there's three little small standoffs right there. It does have not like a full, you can see it right there, just right around where the uh, the lock is. It's not a, like a, a liner, a full metal liner inside. So it's all G10 up in here, but right, just a little bit right around where the able lock is, is near some metal stuff. Cause there's gonna be a little spring and all that back there behind it. So, um, it says very, very fidget friendly, good, you know, open closes, very nice, easy. There's your center, perfect, no problem. Uh, let's give a little, uh, little specs on it, okay? So this is three and a quarter. It's 2.3 ounces, which is very lightweight, all right? Overall length, seven and a half inches. All right, this knife comes in at about $157.20 on the site right now. I call that a very good budget friendly USA made knife. Um, premium steels, good G10, solid construction, made by a USA company in the USA. Okay, so you expect you're gonna have to pay $120, $200 range for what I consider kind of a budget friendly USA made knife, all right? Um, what this knife reminds me of, if you've held a bench made bug out, okay? It's very similar feeling, thin, lightweight, even the color blue, you know, 
uh, with the uh, stone wash handle like they got. The one, the one few things, more than one, more uh, that's the biggest deal. I think this would push it over the edge of a bug out. Bug out, and I know bug outs are made to be thin and uh, lightweight and all that. Um, but the scales, all right, these scales don't move. They're pretty thick G10, okay, very solid construction. The scales on the bug out is very thin, plasticky. I mean, you could squish them and touch them. I mean, it, it's it's hardly no rigidity there, okay? Um, the blade still on a bug out is S30V. Nothing wrong with S30V, but this is 20CV, so, you know, it's kind of a little more step above. And the price range of a bug out, 144 to 157 range, which is right on par with the 157 of this knife. So I think this knife offers a little more um, than the bug out, in my opinion. And, I don't know, a little more premium. So, for, for, the, for the same price. So, uh, it goes in and out of the pocket, fantastic. That deep carry clip is very, very user friendly. There's your retention, all right. Uh, it is a left right hand carry tip up only all right Kind of good there got some traction right here It is I mean you can feel it. It's, it's you know, it's a little aggressive I guess you'd say and that's what it's meant to be right there right on the thumb ramp and it works um, I have you know extra large glove hands and I can get all four fingers on it. No problem right where they meant to be and you know it's not a big knife you know uh, when you look at pictures it's like oh man that's kind of a big knife no it's you know it's a three and a quarter i mean but it it seems like to me i don't know it kind of seemed like a small three and a quarter if that makes sense uh very thin blade stock it's just a good all-around nice edc carry nothing big nothing crazy um lightweight uh, premium materials usa knife something to be proud to pull out and use at you know 150 range price range yeah but that's my opinion all right guys thank you for watching go pick this knife up usmablade.com y'all have a good one bye bye